So we have these posts over here that we need to secure up at a certain height. And right now we've just got them in there with a cinder block and dirt, but obviously that's not a very permanent solution. And it looks pretty ugly. So um, we're using these posts rather than traditional 4x4s because these are significantly cheaper. Um, and so to save money on uh, a post or like a something to raise them up, we have this uh, flower pot here. And I was thinking we could fill it with concrete so we have this nice cone shape and then we'll be able to set the post right on that. Um, and in order to make sure that the post doesn't slip, we could create some sort of shape like this inset in here um, and that'll we'll be able to modify the mold so that the post doesn't slide around. So this is of course the rough idea of the pillar thing that we're going to be trying to mold and so this is this is a rough drawing of the insert that I want to put in the bottom of the flower pot and you, you see that as we pour the concrete around this we're going to end up with this little indent that's just the size of our posts and then we've got these little chamfers in here that'll allow the water to drain out so that it doesn't sit on the wood and rot. Okay, so I'm getting this piece cut out and I'm now just kind of sanding it down into the right curve and shape that I want before I put the draft angles on it. All right, well, I finished up this piece. It turned out really nice. And uh, I'm gonna need something to mount this and then the little drainage spikes coming off of it. So I found this piece of uh, circular wood in my scrap, which is about the size I need. Um, and so if I just put this in here, that gets pretty far down in the, uh, in the pot and I think that'll work. Okay, I just ground down the edge of this so that it fits nicely against this slant. Okay, well, I created some of these little pieces in here and I just sanded it down a little bit at a time until I got it to fit just right because I don't want any big gaps where concrete could set in there. And then these, this may not be necessary, but I used a spindle sander to get a little bit of a curve on the inside of here since this surface is curved. So that lets that fit in there really nicely. And now I took the sander and just tapered down this edge a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of a taper there and that'll allow it to just fit snugly right in. Okay, I'm gonna epoxy these pieces down and this epoxy will help to make sure that it stays watertight when we put the concrete in. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my finger and spread some epoxy on here and this will help seal the wood and protect it from the water and the concrete. All right, so we're gonna start mixing the concrete and to get the right amount, I'm just gonna put this in here. Here. I'm just gonna mark this so that when we start making a bunch of these we've got a good estimate so we can just pour it in quickly. All right I'm just gonna slowly add water just pour a little bit in at a time and mix it so that we have the least amount of water uh, but we want the concrete to still be pourable. All right, so let's put this in there and we'll pour the concrete on it. All right, here comes the concrete. I'm gonna start out gentle because I don't want to knock that thing off level.
Well, it looks like we could use a little bit more concrete, so next time I'll just fill it a little bit past that line we made. Okay, so I've pulled my first one out of the mold and I have to say this turned out really nice. So here's the little indent where the post sets right in there. And here are the drains where the water can exit. I went ahead and poured another one last night and added a little bit extra grease to this one to see if we can get it to come out of the mold easier. So we'll just kind of tap this guy So I'm just going to use a screwdriver and kind of find the bottom of this little part here and that way we can pry it up. So just kind of keep gently working it out. You can see it's starting to come off there. There we go. So this one did come out of the mold easier, but it does look like all of this extra grease made the concrete not as smooth, so we might need to tweak the amount of grease a little bit. Now on the end of the greenhouse, we're going to have some of these posts right up against the metal frame, and so what I'm going to do is create a little wall in here to cut off part of it um, and that way we'll have a flat edge that we can push one of these right up against the wall. Alright so I finished this little brace in here. You can see I backed it up behind so when the concrete's in here it, and it pushes against it it won't move and so this should give us that flat edge that we want. And I'll go ahead and grease this up so it doesn't stick. Alright, well this one is set, so uh, let's take a look. It looks like that technique worked really well. So this piece is going to go right on the edge of the greenhouse and we can still get our posts in. So these little stands for the posts definitely look a lot better than those cinder blocks. We've got this one over here which goes in the middle of the greenhouse and we're going to be rotating our poles um, to adjust the width of our support beams. Um, and then over here this one goes up against the edge and it'll still be able to hold the pole up there. Very nice. All right, so now we just need to make a total of 28 of these and we'll add in all of the support beams and re-raise the greenhouse.